Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about how to efficiently compute power diagrams on the GPU. As you probably know, Voronoi diagrams and power diagrams from performance that appear in a variety of natural phenomena. They are widely used and studied for their interesting mathematical properties. Here we are interested in these diagrams in the context of moving mesh fluid cinematographs, as well as direct and inverse problem in cosmology. This application solely uses the Voronoi diagrams as a partition of space to compute integrals over cells or weighted adjacency matrix. Processing those values is often a bottleneck because they are needed in critical parts of simulation loops. We present a way to tackle this problem. So, the problem here is that we have a domain, like this bunny, enclosed by a triangulated mesh, and we have a set of points represented by these blue dots. What we want to do is to quickly evaluate integrals over the Voronoi or Power diagram restricted to the bunny. The presentation is divided into three parts. The first recalls some definitions and presents the article on which our work is based. Then we present the GPU optimization carried out and finally we end with a new method of integration. So let's quickly recall what a Voronoi and a Power diagram is. Take a look at a Voronoi diagram in two dimensions. A Voronoi cell can be defined as a set of points that are closer to one seed than to any other seed. We can also define a cell as an intersection of several R spaces. Given a seed for each of its neighbor, we remove all points that are closer to the neighbor. In other words, for each seed, we clip the Voronoi cell by the path sector of the pair of seed. A power diagram is a generalization of Voronoi diagrams. It adds a weight to each seed which allows us to control the scale of each cell, represented here as the blue circles. For Voronoi diagrams, we measure distance between seeds. For power diagram, we consider a distance between circles. A power diagram shares the same feature with Voronoi diagrams. The frontier between cells is a straight line. The only thing that changes is the position of the basic dose that depends on the seed weight. For our application, we do not need the combinatorial structure of the diagram since our goal is to compute an integral of a domain. It allows us to use a very lightweight data structure, taking full advantage of the GPU computing power. Thus, in 2018, we have created Meshless Voronoi on the GPU. So, application and fluid simulation and astrophysics use set of points that are uniformly distributed or whose density varies smoothly. The idea is to represent a portion of the volume by a Voronoi cell and compute velocities or pressure over the cell. Typically, the point set comes out of a blue noise sampling and by adapting the density of the seed, we can adjust the precision of the simulation. Since our set of points is uniformly distributed or its density varies smoothly, each Voronoi cell can be computed from few of its nearest neighbors. It will not share a facet with another cell whose seed is too far away. This can be ensured by the fact that Voronoi cells are convex and a criterion named the security radius. We compute the cell bonic sphere and retrieve its radius, then if the distance between a seed and its neighbor is greater than twice the radius, then the cell is not clipped by its bisector. We homebrewed our point in a regular grid to facilitate queries on the k-nearest neighbors. Our assumption about the quality of the distribution is that only the k-nearest neighbor will be sufficient to calculate the Voronoi cell a low value of k ranging from 30 to 180. Finally, the cell can be processed independently as the intersection of several other spaces until the security radius is reached. This algorithm is well adapted to the GPU, since each cell is treated individually, and each of our data structure has a control and predictable size thanks to the distribution of our point sets. However, this method does have its limitations. We illustrate the behavior of the method on two different distributions of points, white and blue noise. First, they are the most used for sampling, and second and most important, they are two opposite corner cases for our algorithm. 
As for the limitation, we place strong assumption on our input data. Even if our structure are minimalized, some graphic cards may not have enough memory to process 10 million points of white noise. Two years ago, the problem was circumvented by using a card with more memory. We consider that we will always have a homogeneous distribution of our point cloud, so the KNES neighbors parameter will not exceed 200. But in the case of power diagrams, as in the bottom right figure, the seed distribution spreads out, and this parameter consequently increases to 300, causing a significant increase in memory consumption. It is significant enough to prevent the algorithm from running for power diagrams. Finally, the algorithm provides no support for restricting to an arbitrary domain. It only restricts the Voner diagram by a bounding box of the point sets. So, why are we running out of memory? There are two reasons for this. First is due to the size of the data needed. For each seed, we need to store k neighbors, and for computing power diagrams, we need to increase the security radius. It scales the number of neighbors to consider by 1.23, multiplying the memory consumption by the same factor. The second reason is that the algorithm is devoid from any scheduling strategy. Currently, we treat all the seeds in one pass with a key parameter high enough to safely treat all the kinds of seeds. So, to process all the seeds, we introduce a new scheduling strategy. The scheduling is divided into two loops. An inner loop, processing the cell in batches so that the memory of the GPU is never exceeded, and an external loop, allowing us to treat iteratively each cell with adapted parameters. The idea behind the external loop is to turn the algorithm differently for each pass. We design the first pass to be very fast by setting the number of nearest neighbor to a small value, which allows us to treat 95% of the cells. And then we treat the few remaining cells in subsequent safer but slower iterations. We test our method on two datasets of 10 minus seeds with blue and white nodes. Our scheduling strategy allows us to use better parameters for more cells, resulting in a speed up factor of 2 to 3 according to the type of seed distribution. Now, let us move to integration of our cells of Voronoi and Power Diagram. Since we only want to compute integral over cells, we are not interested in storing its match combinatorics. And we can use only a lightweight data structure. For each cell, we store the set of all space equation P participating in the clipping of the cell. In addition to that, we store in big V the triplet of plane equations which generate each vertex of the cell. A straightforward way to estimate an integral of a function over a convex polyhedron is to tetrahedralize the polyhedron and then estimate the integrals over each tetrahedron. The caveat is that our lightweight data structure does not allow for an efficient inference of connectivity between the edges and the faces, making it difficult to find a straightforward decomposition. We do, however, have a rudimentary connectivity information encoded in the triplet of plane equations incident to the vertex. It is sufficient to evaluate the integral by iteration over the vertices. Assume that we split the polyhedron into pyramids whose bases are formed by faces of the polyhedron with ASTIP, the seed S. Such a pyramid can be decomposed into a set of tetrahedra by orthogonally projecting the tip on its base, that we call H. With this approach, the problem of the connectivity still persists. Because we have no relation of connectivity between the pyramid bases vertices, then we introduce I the orthogonal projection of IH on the intersection between the pyramid base and one of our planes. This decomposition allows us to efficiently compute the volume of our cell. By the way, with the use of power diagrams, it is possible to have a seed outside of the cell. To overcome this problem, we perform a sum of sine volumes. We now know how to evaluate integrals on an unrestricted domain. We are now interested in more complex simulation domains. 
The problem is to integrate the function f of our a domain, that is to say, the intersection between the domain and ourselves, a non-convex polyhedron. A naive way is to tetrahedralize the domain and consider the intersection of each cell with each tetrahedron. But it is extremely expensive. Liu et al. propose a heuristic allowing you to intersect a cell with only nearby tetrahedron. The price to pay if for this efficiency are missing intersection leading to computational errors. Instead, we use only a triangulated surface, and our strategy does not suffer from such computational errors. We also compute the integrals without changing our base framework, which computes the integral within region defined as the intersection of our spaces. The difficulty is how to define such alpha spaces from an arbitrary enclosing surface mesh. For that, we do not need a partition of the space. We propose to use signed volume sums, just as before. We illustrate the integration with the simplest function. We show how to compute the volume of the domain, but it is exactly the same for other functions. Let us choose an arbitrary point O and define a set of tetrahedra as follows. Each triangle of the domain omega creates a tetrahedron defined by two points of the triangle and the point O. Thus, we can decompose our calculation on tetrahedra generated on the fly that we can integrate by iterating on the faces of our mesh. The sum of the surname volume then gives us the domain restricted integral. Computing the intersection between a tetrahedron and a cell boils down to computing for all space intersections. But the simulation domain omega is typically defined by thousands of triangles, making it impractical to intersect each cell with all the tetrahedra. To optimize our estimation, we want to only discard the empty cells. The problem is that this set of tetrahedra does not allow for trivial detection. To this end, we introduce a modified set of tetrahedra. The volume of the domain can also be computed as a sum of signed volumes of truncated cones generated by the triangle and the point O. To be efficient, we want to carry out our estimates as local as possible. Let us consider a bounding box for our sum. In the first case, we must take into account the backside of the bunny for the integration because the tetrahedron intersects the sum. While in the second case, the area generated by the red triangle does not intersect the cell, which allows us to discard early the triangles that do not intersect the bounding box. That is the reason to use the second decomposition. To optimize the evolution of the integral, we consider the set of triangles intersecting our cell locally. To do this, we place the triangulated surface into a regular grid. For each voxel in the grid, we pre-compute the list of triangles in the mesh that intersect the voxel. Then we compute the bounding box of each cell. The bounding box is then intersected with the grid in order to recover all the triangles that can intersect the cell. We then choose the point O as the minimal points of the bounding box. Finally, we iterate over the triangle intersecting the domain and clip the cell to integrate it. Then we add the signed volume. Now we will show you the result obtained for an application, power particle like fluid simulation. Then we will discuss the results obtained. So, it's an example of our application, power particle like fluid simulation. Now let's talk about timing. First, here are the domains we use to evaluate the performance of our algorithm. For the timing, we have performed the computation of two datasets of 10 million seed with blue and white noise. The leftmost colon provides the performances of our previous article. The second colon gives the running time of our method without the new features, that is to say, without cleaving but with scheduling strategy. The six rightmost columns correspond to the Voronoi diagram restricted to different domains. Our scheduling strategy allows us to use better parameters for most cells, resulting in a speed-up factor of 2 to 3 according to the type of seed distribution. 
we observe that adding the restriction introduces a reasonable overhead, typically inferior to 15%. For the power diagram, we observe an impact on performances that is proportional to the neighborhood side increment on most of factor 2. For higher variation of weights, a more complex strategy would be required to avoid crushing the performances. Compared to CPU algorithms, our solution is an order of magnitude faster for all use cases. For general purpose usage, CPU implementation remains a better option. And compared to the recent GPU implementation of restricted Voronoi diagrams by Liu et al. that processes 60,000 seeds per second, we process more than 4 million seeds per second. Our algorithm does not suffer from missing Voronoi cell tetrahedron pairs to insects, thus providing accurate results. To compute the power diagram cells, we can ensure that enough neighbors are visited by simply increasing the safety radius criterion used for the Vono cells. This strategy has proven effective for all test cases on fluid simulations, but it relies on a strong assumption about the limits of weight variation. Finally, it may seem that our algorithm suffers from what is called catastrophic cancellation. Indeed, we subtract and add good estimation of integrals, but it may yield a bad approximation to the difference of the original numbers. However, the margin of error is negligible. Our GPU algorithm offers a fair precision in numerical computation of integrals. As a conclusion, we have produced an algorithm to compute power diagram on the GPU. The code is fully available on GitHub. The algorithm does have some limitation because of the use of predicates for power diagram and because of catastrophic consideration on the estimation of our integral, but it is really efficient in all specific base cases. Thank you for your attention.